Hello everyone, Triple N here and I know it's been a long time because high school has been keeping me very busy. So as you can see, my power supply which I built two years back in 2016 has been gutted. I've removed the voltage and current meter and both the potentiometers because I've been planning to replace it. The current limit feature didn't work with both the commercial boards I used and the voltmeter and the current meter had gone a little off. So ever since Great Scott released his video about modifying a buck boost converter, I've been attempting to build one and yesterday I finally got around to doing it and I finished building it. It just took me around 3 hours or something to put all this together. It's right now powered from the 12 volt rail of the power supply. So let me turn it on. And as you can see, it works yeah. fine. This is the voltage. Okay, this part adjusts the voltage. It can go from 1.5 to 30, I think. That's this buck boost converter. So I increase the voltage using this 10 turn pot. And this spot sets the current limit. So if you turn the current limit all the way up, even when you have no load attached, it brings down the voltage. So let me try shorting out the power supply using this alligator clip. Make sure that the current limit is set to minimum. Yes, as you can see, it limits the current to whatever value is set by this spot. You can even go right down to zero, which makes this very useful. The current limit is a bit finicky, but it does its job quite well. So I officially have a working constant current, constant voltage power supply. So I guess I can turn this off now. Like I said, I derived this circuit from Great Scott. Here is a printout of what's actually going on. This is the 3.3 volt regulator for this MCP602 CMOS op amp. I didn't have a LF33, so I just used a LM317T configured to output around 3.4 volts. And the first op amp inside this chip acts as a differential amplifier across the 0 0.1 ohm current shunt it ma it amplifies by around 30 i think so that inputs to the second op amp which is used as a comparator so if the current exceeds the voltage set at this point the output goes high and the and through a diode, it feeds into the feedback terminal of this XL6009. So once the voltage there goes high, it brings down the regulation so that the voltage decreases and automatically the current. Now the reason this diode is placed here is before the current exceeds the set point, the output of the op amp is low. So it'll, if there wasn't a diode over here, it would just pull the feedback low, which will increase the voltage to God knows what and blow the whole thing up. So that's the reason why we add a diode over here. So that's basically the whole circuit, circuit, however you'd like to pronounce that. So yes, I just thought I'd give you a quick look at this before it goes inside the unit. Thank you for watching. All right, so this is going to be the first power on test of this power supply. As soon as I turn on that switch, the power supply turns on. And I had to short the enable because my switch simply wasn't working. All right, so three, two, one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me.